from 3 million all the way up to 45 million at the moment. So there's a lot going on. So you just never know what might happen. So do put yourselves out there so people can see what you're doing. Are there any questions for uh, for Michael and Natasha? Are there any questions come up, anyone? Oh, uh, uh, I got a question. I got a question. Yes. Will you project manage the uh, that deal as well? Um, Which one? Uh, uh, the, that deal that you presented there. Oh, will we project uh, manage it? If, if the investor wants us to project manage it, yes, we will, but that will come at a bespoke price. Okay. All, All right. right. Yeah, not okay. All right. I've got okay. a question. Yes. Oh, if someone decides to come invest in this, are they going to appear on Channel Five as well? Uh, because <laughs> of the interesting know. conversation you had with Channel Five and Mirror this more uh, today. It was very much the the Mirror wanted to do a follow up because their readers have expressed that they really liked uh, the show where we appeared and one other show, and they I don't know why the you know. Uh, Mike and Natasha are very young and good looking. I think it's because of them, because uh, I'm not. I'm just not that funny. And um, the thing is, is the they're going to do an online article, I think, or a follow up. Channel Five, I don't know. I think it would. You know, um, they've always said potentially if it was a good story to follow up. So you know, if people want to invest with Michael, that'd be fantastic coming alongside. Because look, the goal is, and I'm going to show you what I'm doing. So I've got one guy first. I'm going to take you through, and the second mentee, who's only been with me about two months now, I'm going to show you what he's doing, and very much what he's doing uh, to now start to take the next step. I don't want to say too much till I get there, um, and that's where Michael's going to be in the way that he'll be buying houses, none of his own money. And he'll be taking a fifty percent share. So, let's let's take you through. So, the first one, I'm going to introduce you to Aaron. Oh, it's all right. Don't worry. So, look, Aaron. Hi, Trev. Hello. So oh, you wouldn't you wouldn't believe it. You wouldn't believe it. Just trying to get an orc um, <laughs> dressing table down the stairs of this house has just been so. <laughs> Honestly, I've had to I had to bring my ex wife's new man to help me. <laughs> I love you. I love it. Okay. So, Aaron, please, um, we're going to go through this, you know, fairly quickly. If you, I've got the slide up with the information that you've given me. I've got yeah, some pictures. Nobody's. So, you know, look, you, just tell us, how did you find it? This was on the market? So, the, this was on the market. It had just come on the market. And the only way I found it was by doing. I was so frustrated of, of watching a, a different uh, property trainer, and it, it just wasn't going anywhere for me. So... Other than procrastinate all the time, I just got on and did. This is the only way I found this property was stop procrastinating, get on the get online. Yeah, and I'll tell you for free is right move. You should be looking on. Yeah, if you don't know already, get on it and find the dirtiest ones you can find. Love get it. out there, do it. I knocked off this one. I think ten grand just over the phone. Nice. I was up in up in Somerset, and this was in uh, the valleys in South Wales. Yeah. I got on a call with the agent, and it was a kind. It was a no BS. What's he going to take for it? Yep. And that they told me. So that knocked it off straight away, straight on the train. And I lost my driving license for two years. Yeah. Um, I was going a bit fast on the M5, but that <laughs> didn't stop me. Four hours down there, met them, done the viewing the next day, and then I knocked another five off on the day, if I remember rightly. Yeah. And just going off, I'm not even reading the screen, Trevor, and just going off what I uh, remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I knocked another five off because he didn't want to throw his setty away. Yeah. That was it. I gauged him, lazy guy, another five grand off. <laughs> so it, it was great, really. So I'm just going to get my numbers up by you and I'll go yeah. through it. So it was uh, August 2019. Uh, yeah. I started on it. Yeah. And it ran then till I think the end of October 19 when we did all the work. Yeah. So those of you who don't know, it's in South Wales, in the valleys, it's the Ron the Valleys, and it was a buy, refurbish, refinance or sell. It works either way with it. But again, I just sell them on because I want my game is to develop. Not red bike, yeah, that's my push bike. That's how we used to get from the train to anywhere we're doing. 
Or can I just stop you, man? So it's interesting because in my teaching, I do say on the first day you get it, take a picture of the, you know, the meters because you always want to know because when it comes to what was a meter in, you're going to forget. And when I saw that picture, it did make me laugh because they get the electric. I have them in all my pictures, the electric meters and gas meters. So this is it, isn't it? So, yeah. So it's a, it's a three bedroom terrace house. Proper family house down there. That's how it works. The valley's one road in, one road out. The only thing that works here is family home. So anything three bed or over, three bed is ideal. That's what you'd be looking for if you're doing anything down there or you want to look down there. Um, obviously, Trevor can pass you my details. Anyone wants any information, I can help you, no problem at all. So the numbers, 70K was up for in August 19. I eventually purchased it for 55K in the August. Again, one phone call, one viewing knocked him down to the 55 with the legals the purchase the building inspection and the stamp duty was 3k so i estimated the refurb and again at this point with trevor's knowledge and he's an amazing guy if anyone's looking for training go with this man he is absolutely amazing i'll blow smoke up his you know what all day because i genuinely mean it right, there's not a lot of people i like but trevor 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 and leslie they're very 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 good people um so where are we to the refurb so at the refurb it's a it's a it's a best guess at the best of times and no people in the area no builders no andy men no nothing so it was a it was a guess i guess 20 grand and it came to 25 all in with labor and materials again a lot of it um trevor guided me through thankfully because again he's, he's got age he's got knowledge and the wisdom to do it very very good so 25 grand with his help and his guidance and again the biggest thing is the consumer unit or the fuse board. A 500 pound fuse board from a builder, from a rip off, will do the same thing as a 50 pound one from screw fix. Online coronavirus is still 50 quid and it's still doing the job. So the biggest takeaway is people in trying to have your eyes out. The trades are phenomenal for it. Yeah. My normal job, my day to day, the amount of them I have to try to find for people because they've paid up in cash, they've paid in full before they even start is, is crazy. I chase some people around all day doing it. So that's that. Obviously, pay them in bits, in thirds, through in the beginning, through in the middle, through at the end when you're happy and you've done all your, you walk around and you, you're snagging and all the rest of it. So the 25K refurb that was done. And again, it was done in about two months, all in. And that was my first one. But I did that only because of Trevor. I got no background in building, no nothing. I didn't even know build. I can't even put a screw up. After the fiasco, I just tried to add getting the, uh, the old wardrobe down the stairs on my own. Um, I think I'll leave it there for the night. Huh? So that was that. We give it to the estate good, agent. You put a good boiler in. You put a good boiler. And again, that's only down to your experience and your knowledge. I made a mistake, though, because I was never planning to keep it. So it's yeah. a bit dear for one I'm going to flog on. But again, um, we're all fair now and we've got a different one in this one. Sure. I, I, honestly, I honestly think a good boiler, you see, when you go in, you see a real cheap one, you know, three, 300 quid, it, 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 your heart sinks. I think value is heart sink because I think, oh, you just, and it, I think it reflects by putting that in, it's like four or 500 quid more. And I think it just brings value because you go in, there's seven year warranty on that. It's a, that is a Worcester Bosch 30 kilowatt eye combi uh, boiler. Fantastic. And you used LMPG to save money? It, it, was, it was absolutely amazing. The, the plumber, Mm -hmm. that i got into do it he couldn't believe the price that i had it for with the flu and yeah. everything else i think i paid 800 pound back in 2019 for it yeah i don't know what it is now this time i didn't need one this time we had a new one before we we took this new one over there you'll see in a minute but he couldn't believe the rate that i had that for he couldn't he couldn't get over it it was about 300 quid cheaper than he was paying but it's the landlord's national purchasing group i paid two you i think it's 200 quid odd and plus a VAT. Yep. It is absolutely amazing. Worcester, Worcester, like you say, Worcester Bosch, you've got uh, Wolseley for all your plumbing. The bathroom I did on the new house, you see it, and I did it for about £800. Yeah. All in, every every part of it, every bit of it, less the tiles and the labour, about £800. And it's all really, really good stuff. The taps are the best taps you can get. They're all waterfall taps, and hopefully you'll see it in the other ones. Well, I, I like this bit. So look, you, you made 25 k on this, didn't you? So, yeah, so the total spend all in was 85K. The market value then was assessed at 110K. So 
your 25 grand clear there on that. Mm -hmm. But again, like you say, Trev, always have the always have the fallback with it. Yeah. And again, just the other numbers with regards to that. So the rental value in the area for a three bedroom terraced house in the room there in that area was five hundred to five seven five. I said five hundred just to be conservative on it. Um, if you refinanced it seventy five percent loan to value, you would have left two thousand five hundred in the deal. And again, that was the numbers in October nineteen. Yeah. Um, you would have most of your money out in five months again if you if you rented it out and being conservative at 500 on a month hours so don't overestimate it because at the end of the day it's your money you know and if you lend in it's going to cost you even more money if you get it wrong yeah, yeah. Um, but that's that so that will buy refurb refinance if you was going to refinance it or buy refurb sell if you do it in the, the right parts of the valleys you'll sell them this one we give it to the agent Next day, she phoned me and sold 110. There was no quibbling about the price, nothing. Luckily, it was a cash buyer, and yeah. it went through. I got the money for that one then in the January of 2020. And again, ready to end the crack on, but it was just before Corona, so a nice this holiday. Next, but this is a more ambitious, isn't it? There's a lot yeah, more this money. One, this, one, this one was a lot more money, um, but again, it, it was a lot more gain. You'll see it at the end now. It, it, you this talk because I'm going to go and get you. I've got to stop that. I've got to get your um, pictures. So you you keep yeah. talking about it. I'm going to get your pictures up. Yeah, no problem at all. So what I'll do, what Trevor does, I'll just run you through the numbers mm -hmm. of the, the second project that I did. And again, this, this one was taken on in July 20, and it was finished then by October 2020. And this was a much... Sorry to pause you there. Trevor, FYI, your screen share stopped. Yeah, was that... No, I said I was, I was stopping it, so I was going to okay. get these pictures up. All right? Sure. Yeah. Lovely. So this, this was a far greater project than the one in the valleys. And again, to be honest with you, at the start of it, I didn't plan on doing half the stuff that I did, but I met the right people. Again, with Trevor's guidance, and he steered me in the right place to where to find the right people and all the rest of it. Don't ring these people cold, because they will, they will have it. If you get the wrong one, you will, you will be had, and it's not great. So the location of this one's up in Somerset. Again, things cost a lot more money in Somerset than the valleys, as you can imagine. Again, it was by refurb, extend and sell this time. So it was originally a three-bedroom semi-detached, freehold, again, which is very important. Post work was a three, three slash four bedroom. They're selling it now on office and a study room, however they want to play it with the working from home and all the rest of it. And again, we added 35 square meters to the original structure on this one. And again, then pictures are cycling through there now. That was the before pictures because you need to show the, the value add at the end because the people buying it on the mortgage, the solicitor, first thing they asked me on the last one, you bought it for 55, why, why are you selling it at 110? Why have we got to give you the money? They're looking for reasons not to pay you. But do yourself a little one like this, like Trevor cycling through, just talk them on a day, on a camera phone, and just forgot about them, left them on the phone or put them in the storage if your phone's not great and you're not good with technology. Because if I didn't have them, all they've got is the after pictures. And all they'll say is, well, all we can see is it's a great property, brilliant, but you've only added two months and they won't pay you. They won't pay the people out so to buy the house because you haven't evidenced the value add, for the added value. So we've done a few version of it. Um, so the numbers then, I'll just run you through it. Originally, they were asking 190k, and I was in March 2020. So this is when the coronavirus lockdown 1.0 kicked in. So it wasn't great, but I was on this, and they were selling it through the modern day auction, which I'll run through if you ever see it. Don't be scared of it. It's an amazing way to buy if the numbers are right and you can make the money from it. And again, that's all about uh, just price. You earn the money when you buy it. The refurb. It's not even worth thinking about. You can get things cheap, but the initial buying of it, you need to negotiate the hell out of it. So, Aaron, um, is, is, can you see the kitchen? Can you see that? Yeah. yeah. Uh, is that solid wood? That that kitchen top? It's it's solid. Yeah, it's solid. And I I paid I paid about ninety pound. What for the for the for the lid? What three meters? For the for for all of it. Nice. That's really but good. It was, there's a number of places you can get it. You can get it from Worktops Direct. Yeah. That's that bargain basement. Yeah. That is, I used LMPG. The first one, yeah. I didn't use LMPG for the kitchen. And this one, I'm kicking myself that I didn't do it because I used the, um, oh, what's the other one called? 
uh, big kitchen to play. Howden. Howden, Howden, yeah. Joy from the body. Thank you.